In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the mean. But before I do, I want to take a step back and start with this. You don't love me! <laughs> if I said to you, do you find those little humans cute? You'd think I'm a bit weird. Humans, although correct, is the wrong word to use. What I should have said is little girls. In the same way, you can say the word average, but that's like saying human. What you want to do is be more specific and say the type of average you're calculating. And for this video, that's the mean. Let's look at two different examples of calculating the mean. First, what is the mean height of one of the Avengers? Here are the heights for all of the Avengers. To calculate the mean, there's two steps. Step one, add together all of those heights. When I do that, I get 11.51. The second step is to divide this number by how many Avengers there are. That's 6. And when I do that, I get an average value of 1.91. Before we move on, I want to point out a really common mistake. Did you notice how that before I push divide by 6, I pushed the equals button? That's because of how calculators work. If I'd forgotten to push equals, what the calculator would have done is add together the height of the first five Avengers and then add on a sixth of the height of the last one, giving me a mean height of 10 metres. Now none of the Avengers are 10 metres tall, so the mean can't be this value. So to avoid this mistake, always push equals before you divide by how many numbers there are. Our second example is a very serious experiment firing a Nerf gun at different angles and seeing how far the bullets go. Here's my results table for that experiment. I'm going to start by calculating the mean for when the angle was 10 degrees. There were three values there, 4.2, 4.5 and 4.4. So I'm going to add these all together, push equals, and then divide by how many numbers there were, and that was three. That gives me a mean value of 4.4. If you look at the repeat readings at 20 degrees, you'll notice two of them are close to each other and one of them's far away. That one that's far away is called an anomaly. And what we do is we highlight it to say it's an anomaly, add a key, and then ignore it in our calculation. So our calculation is going to be 5.6 plus 5.7, push equals, and then divide by two, because we only added two numbers together. And that gives us an average of 5.65 or 5.7 when we round up. When the angle was 30 degrees, all three numbers are quite far apart, so there isn't one that's particularly far from the other two. That means there's no anomaly, and we add all three numbers together, push equals, and divide by three. If you want some practice calculating the mean, you could pause the video now, try the next two, and then push play and see if you've got the same answer as me. Did you pause the video? Did you get it right? Did you spot the anomaly? Who knows? but I hope you'll remember how to calculate the mean. You do it by adding your numbers together, pushing equals, and then dividing by how many numbers you had. And that's it, calculating the mean. 